Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can try to avoid the dreaded sample offline scenario. So for this demonstration, I'm going to record a vocal part over this backing track. So I'm going to record it onto this channel here. First thing I'd recommend is that we label that track. This will help us that for every recording we do, it's going to put the term vocal at the beginning rather than just audio. And that might help us if we need to try and find this if something goes really wonky. What we are then going to do is make sure that we save this as a project. So at the moment you can see this is called Untitled. And the reason why I wanna save it as a project is that then every time I'm recording something in live, it will record it directly into the project folder. At the moment, if I go to record something, it records it in a temporary storage place that is set in the preferences. So this just helps it record it straight into our project folder, which is the key to being able to keeping our audio. So to do this, I'm just gonna go to the main menu, go to file, save live set as and i'm gonna save it to my desktop and it's really important that you physically click on the area that you want to save it in sometimes it might try and save this in another or previous ableton live project so make sure that you're very certain about where you're going to save so i'm going to call this i need my audio because i certainly do that it's not just a clever name and so I'm going to save that there. So next task is to actually record this vocal. I am showing you how to manage your audio So you don't lose the work you do Ooh. And the Grammy goes to so what I'd like to do now is I'd like to add a sample that I've got somewhere on um, an external hard drive and I'm going to move that, drag and drop it into Live's arrangement view. So I'm just going to drop that there like that. So what I've got now are the three tracks that were programmed in earlier, the vocal that I've just recorded in and I also have this loop that's from an external hard drive that I've added to the track as well. So now my track sounding like this. I am showing you how to manage your audio so you don't lose the work you do. So the next thing that I need to do is I want to do something called a collect all and save. The reason for this is, is that Live is referencing this external loop that's on the external hard drive as knowing that it's at that particular place. What I want to do is get Live to grab a copy of this and add it to our project folder. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to where it says file and I'm gonna to go to collect all and save. And what you're looking for is these first three boxes to say yes. Hi, it's three S's. We don't wanna add this one at the bottom. No. We're gonna just go for okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. And what this has now done, this is now copied this into the project folder. Let's have a look. So this is inside our project folder and we've got this folder called samples and if I double click this folder we can see we've got two different types. We've got the ones that we've recorded in and you can see the ones that I did earlier as practice runs and you can see the ones that I've labeled up as vocal on here now have the word vocal on it. And I'd always highly recommend labeling your tracks before you start recording because it really helps with being able to find files rather than having a whole ton of them just called number audio. It's a, a real pain. And if we go into this one that says imported, we can see that I've got the um, same file name as we've got for the one that I've dragged from my external hard drive. So we have it now into this project folder. So if I go to share my work with anyone else, 
what I'm going to need to have is I'm going to need to have my entire project folder as the thing that I send. If I just send this .als file, it won't have the audio that's required because that's elsewhere. So what I recommend you do is if you go to ever share your work anywhere is I like to zip up the folder that I'm working with. So on a Mac, you just go to um, this contextual menu and choose compress. And this will then create a zip file that allows you to be able to just send that quite easily via email or airdrop or if you're using any online storage, this is just an easier way, I think, of being able to upload your file. If you're using external drives, you could just copy the folder as it is because that will take everything across with it. But that's the really important thing. So when you're sharing your work, never share the .als file. Always share the project. If you are ever including audio that's from somewhere else in your hard drive, so not what you've recorded while you are working on the project, but you've grabbed it, as in this case, from an external hard drive. Make sure you do a collect all and save before sharing that project, because otherwise it won't know where that file is. Where am I? You're in a room. It will know where that file is, but it just won't be in that project folder. And that just makes the whole process a lot easier. Sometimes just hitting collect all and save as a general kind of habit is a good idea because you know it's going to pull everything that isn't in the project folder already into that project folder so you can easily share your work.